<laughs> okay, well, I had a great night. Yeah, so, um, do you want me to walk you to your place? Because you know there's a lot of crazy people out there. I'll be okay. I can handle it. And plus, there's no bad people in my neck of the woods. Can you walk me to my place? Because there's a lot of crazy people where I stay. <laughs> yeah, right. Hold on, I'm sorry. This is my daughter. She wants me to say goodnight to her every night. Yeah, sure. Hello? Hey, Destiny. You all tucked into bed? No, I'm not going to be able to read you a bedtime story tonight. But I want you to know that I miss you so much. All right, sweet dreams, sweetheart. Let me talk to your mama. Chantel, I want to see my daughter. No, I'm not moving out there. You know my career is over here. Don't, don't, don't talk to me about that. Look, for the past few summers, you told me that I was going to have my daughter and you never followed through. I want to see her this summer. All right, whatever. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just my daughter, she's so... Look, you go on in, I'm going to go home and be all alone tonight. I'm sorry you had to hear that. Oh, really? Look, you shouldn't be all alone tonight. Come in. All right, cool. I mean, <laughs> if you insist. I insist. I see someone didn't come home from their hot date last night. Why you say that? For one, you're still wearing your regular clothes, and two, you don't get out this early. What happened? She kicked you out. Me? You kicked out? Come on, man. I'm Willie Mac. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> For real? <laughs> Look, I already hung out with her last night. If I would have stayed the night, she would expect me to take her to brunch, and that's just more money. So what happened, man? I tried to call you to pretend to be a daughter, so you could lay the pipe, but your phone went to voicemail. Nah, it was all me last night, dude. <laughs> hey, she practically drugged me out the car. Plus, my phone died. Did she run her hands for your afro? Stay fit! <laughs> Look at this. Baby girl was right. And this must be her texting me right now. I wanted some more of the Mac Man. That is gangsta. That's just a bill collector. I ain't no bill collectors can text you. I don't know. They only supposed to call during certain hours of the day and they're not supposed to threaten your life. My baby mama don't follow any of those guidelines. <laughs> Let me see what she want. Hey Chantel, what's up? Destiny's where? When did we talk about this? Last night. I was just trying to get... Okay, wait. Do you want me to fly her back out? What if I don't pick her up? Is that bad? What kind of formula does she use? I don't know. Chantel. Steve. My daughter's gonna be here in a few hours. What am I do? You can start by putting away your artistic posters and magazines in your room. Are those my chips? Oh yeah, man. I never tasted these before, man. These are nice. You want to try one? I don't want to try yeah, a man. chip. Quit. Pick my bag. Look, you're just a nasty dude. And stay out of my food. Shut your ass up. Do you guys have a goat in here? Where's my damn rat, boy? Good morning to you too, McGay. Damn good morning. Where's the rent? Steve already paid you the rent. If Steve paid me the rent, then why the hell am I standing here asking you for it? I don't know. Maybe you want an autograph or something. You think I want your autograph? 
But you think you something, huh? Because you're on that little shit show that only lasts one season? <laughs> For real, Steve. It was only one season because it was a reality show. Give a fuck. <laughs> Steve, tell him that you paid the rent money already. Hey, man. I paid the rent money already. Well, hey, man. I didn't have it. <gasps> so when did I, when did you give it to me? I mailed it. You, you, you mailed it in? Mm-hmm. Why would you do that? You gotta walk past the office to even get to the mailbox. You're stupid. Well, he wasn't there. And I know how you are about receipts. I went to the post office, bought a stamp to prove that I paid. Bang! Steve. Well, Miguel, looks like your check's coming in the mail. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'll calculate a little late fee with that when I get it. What? He got proof that he sent it off before the due date. Oh, yeah. Well, where's the proof at? I got proof down in my books downstairs that say I didn't get it for the due date. And I should attack on a dumbass fee and a dirty pigsty fee. And find that dope get it out of here. Steve, why did you just drop the check off in the drop box? Like I said, I wanted a receipt. That proves we paid. Look, you're paying the late fee. And if there is this dumb fee, you're paying that too. Look, ma'am. Ain't no need for name calling, right? What's done is done, yeah? I'm gonna go to my room and I'm gonna leave you to deal with your temper, okay? Boop. That boy don't make any sense at all. Man. Hey, Mac man. <laughs> Betsy, I'm really busy. What do you want? Well, you never told me you have a daughter, and she's coming to town today? Betsy, we don't even talk. Well, if we're gonna make this relationship work, we gotta be able to communicate. You are completely correct about that. So first, let me start off by telling you that we are not in a relationship, and never will be. Oh, no! Uh. Steve, what? come get this door. Ma we hey, Bessie. Oh, can't stop. Um, Thank you for the info, because I think I really softened him up talking about his daughter. Anytime. Thanks for the food. Oh, I mean, anytime. I think he's starting to like you. <laughs> Dave, what am I gonna do? Look, man. I don't normally do this, but I'm help you out here. For real? Of course. that will be cool, dude. Just don't expect too much from me, all right? All right. Don't expect too much from me. Where is my fruit cup? Okay. Came in the fridge. Put it down. Did I eat it? All right. Steve. So, here we are. Where are we? Home sweet home. Who's home and what makes it so sweet? Where's your butler? Mommy says that since you were on TV, that you will have a big house and a butler to take my bags to my room. Well, this is where I stay and you will be staying. And no, I don't have a butler. This must be the beautiful princess I've been hearing all day about. Give me five. Bam! Destiny, right? Yeah. How was your flight? Okay. All right. Anyway, listen. Uh, I've got to get ready to go to work now, yeah? But I'll be back later on and we can hang out. All right? Pleasure to meet you. I'm out, man. Steve. You said you was going to help out. I just did. We haven't even done anything yet. Look, man, I told you. Don't expect too much from me. Steve, I can't do this by myself. Destiny, what do you like to do for fun? Go to Disney World. When'd you go to Disney World? Well, that's the thing. I haven't, so can we go? Yeah, 
Maybe one day. What else you like to do? Mash Cherry Barn. Okay, uh, what do you like to do with your mom? Play with my dolls, do their hair, change their clothes. Do you want to play with me, Daddy? Yeah, probably not. Don't you uh, play any sports like baseball, football, basketball? Nah, I do girly stuff. <gasps> what about the Xbox? All kids love the Xbox. What about Halo? Halo? What's Halo? What's Halo? Halo's like the best game ever. It's like... Daddy, I'm hungry. Okay, uh, you go check the fridge. What am I looking for? Something to eat. Are you sure you don't put your food somewhere else, Daddy? Because there isn't anything in here. All right, we can go grocery shopping. Oh, Daddy, we can't have any room service? You have Daddy's service. It's even better. Daddy is at your service. Daddy! Can I get this, Daddy? Well, what about the store brand? It's the same cereal, different box. Plus, it saves me about $2. No! I want this one. Mommy always gets me what I want. I want this! Fine, 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 you get this. No cocoa. Dang, your daughter's really cute. Thanks. Hey, I'm Will. I'm Tina. She must be a handful. Yeah, she is, you know. It's hard being a single father. Aw, her mother's not around? No, she's not. What are you talking about, Daddy? Mommy's at home. You cheating scumbag. No, no. <laughs> she meant her remains are at the house. Destin, why'd you do that? I only said that mommy's at home and she is. She's at her house in St. Louis. She's not in daddy's house out here. Daddy, you live in an apartment, not a house. That's true. Daddy lives in an apartment and not a house. Come on. Oh, you're so cute. What's your name? Willie. Oh, you're talking about her. It's Destiny. Hi, Destiny. Hi. How old are you? 27. Oh, you still talking about her? She's uh, seven. How old are you? You're bad. <laughs> the guy from that show, right? I can't think of the name of it, but you're him. Yeah, that's me. Wouldn't your wife be upset to know you're flirting with cashiers in front of your daughter? Well, for one, I'm not married. And two, I'm not flirting with cashiers. I'm flirting with, um, Brenda. Daddy, can I have some chips? No, not today. Can I have this candy? No. Hey, Daddy, I want to call Mommy. No, I want to talk to her now. Look, look. Hey! Hey, look, I'm sorry about that. Is that where I get your phone number so I can call you later? Next. Daddy! So what was that all about, Destiny? I want to talk to my mommy. And you couldn't wait till we was finished? Well, look, if you want to use me, you got to pay me. <sighs> pay you? Uh-huh. I ain't paying you. Like, I'm not a grown man. How much? Hmm. Hmm. Five dollars per. Phone number. $5 per phone number? That's a lot. But I accept. Plus tax. Plus tax? Okay, just $5. Look, this $5 better guarantee me some bangers or I want my money back. Guys, how was your day, man? Oh, uh, dude, it was cool. Mm. We went to the park, went grocery shopping. We had fun. Gangsta. Daddy, have the fun. <laughs> hey, you home early? Yeah, man, I got fired, man. You got fired? 
Yeah, something about lunch is only one hour and I took three. I don't know, man. Anyway, Miguel came around today. He said, I've got the truck. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's what's up. <laughs> hey, Vanessa. Hey, what's going on? Now, it was nice meeting you today, too. You know, I just got here, about to make the little sport some food. Daddy, I'm still hungry. Make some fried chicken. I don't know how to cook. Hold on, I'm teaching a little girl to cook. Eat some chips. I'll be out in a minute. Oh. I left some chips with you. So how you liking that here so far? It's okay. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Daddy! Who is it? It's Betsy, Mac Man's number one fan. Who are you? He's my daddy. Oh, okay. Um, my name is Betsy. What's your name? Hmm. My daddy's a single father and I want a mother. Do you want to be my daddy's girlfriend? Oh, uh, I don't whoa, mind whoa, if I do. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Um, stop playing these games. You know your mother wouldn't like you playing these games. But daddy, mommy is okay. your mother. Uh, look, Betsy, I'm sorry about that. Oh, oh, um, she's, so, she's so sleepy. She started talking crazy. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Wait, Come on in here. It's, Let's go ahead and talk. No. Hey, I, I will talk to you. Okay. Well, no, I can make a good mommy. I can cook. What happened, Daddy? Um, you did good. But you did enough for the day. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what's up, miss? Nah, it was good to see you today. I'm just here making a little sport some food. You know, it's just hard out here. Yeah. Hi. My name is Michelle, and I just moved. Sorry. My daddy isn't seeing hey, any more back. females today. Try coming back tomorrow. Bye. Hey, um, I'm sorry about that. No problem. Um, I'm sorry to bother you. I just moved in 416. And my electricity's not on yet, so I was wondering if I could use your electricity to charge my phone right now. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, come on in. Thanks. To the Matt Cave. So, uh... What did you say your name was again? Michelle. And you're that guy from the show. Um, what's your name? Don't tell me. Willie. <laughs> yeah. I see you uh, sing the show. Well, uh... Come on, don't be shy. Guess I can't lie. No, you can't. Well, no. I have not seen the show. Oh. Um, so if you haven't seen the show, what you even have? Friends that seen the show? No, um, actually, Betsy, uh, she said kind of warned me something in the lines of you're taken, don't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the record, I'm saying. Daddy, I'm still hungry. Baby girl, I will feed you in just a minute. That's what you said earlier. Just eat some chips. I did. Well, eat some more. I can't. Why? Because Steve took it to him with his room. Thanks, Willie. Wait, Michelle. I thought you was charging your phone. I did already. Thanks. Oh, well, uh, think I can get your phone number? I got it, man. What your man got to do with me? Look, I'm not trying to hit on you or anything. I just wanted to make sure your phone was working properly. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping you was. I like that voice. Wait, I could be a bad boy. I promise. You better get back over here before I break into your apartment and use your electricity. See? I can be bad. <sighs> okay, you win. Daddy! 
Yeah, ma. That today actually went pretty well. Nah, I know, I know. I, I got lots to learn. But I think I could be runner up for a Daddy of the Year award. <laughs> nah. When she starts dating, all the same rules apply to all guys. They might not ever touch my daughter. <laughs> nah, all right, Ma. I love you. Good night. To whom this may concern, the Twinkie Monster has striked again. Sincerely, Twinkie Monster. <laughs> Don't forget, you owe me $25. This is a treble and base productions.